Good evening. My name is Abby Hirschview, and I've swum varsity for Granada High School the past four years. I want to start by saying a big thank you to Red Boosters. I am so honored to have been chosen as a finalist for this year's Olympian Award. I moved to Livermore in third grade, having been to multiple different schools along the way. I had tried different sports during this time period, but none had really clicked. That was until I got into the water. As a slightly pudgy nine-year-old, my parents decided to enroll me in swim lessons in order to get me water safe. At that point, I wasn't really into swimming. I was more interested in the after-practice donuts and the hot tub sessions. <laughs> but I quickly progressed, and my parents saw some potential. They decided to enroll me in the year-round swimming program as a fun new way for me to make new friends and enjoy myself. None of us were prepared for the 5 a.m. practices soon to come or the reality of rainy day swim meets. From there, things seemed to progress pretty quickly. I soon after got my first far western cuts, and then things became real, with me qualifying for both nationals and the U.S. Olympic trials swim meets. Fast forward to early 2020, the year of Olympic trials. COVID had been going on, and training swimming without a pool had been a major difficulty. This situation helped me change my outlook on my sport, as I had to improvise to reach my goals. A year later, I flew to Omaha with my family, unsure of what to expect at the Olympic trials. Once I arrived, I realized the true magnitude of the meet. I had never seen so many fast swimmers in such an enormous fancy facility. That night, at the finals of Wave 1 Olympic trials, I was very nervous. But when I stepped behind the blocks, a sense of calm washed over me, and I realized that this was where I was meant to be. I dropped time in the race and placed second overall in the 200 breaststroke. They interviewed me on television after the race, and I earned a ticket to compete at the Wave 2 trials the following week. And unlike the first wave, the top two in each event at Wave 2 finals made the U.S. Olympic swim team. I went to watch finals every single night with one of my coaches, who's back there right now. Um, every single one of the finals was an extremely close finish. The swimmers won by fractions of a second. As the first two people hit the wall and they looked at the scoreboards, the expressions on their faces was incredible. It hit them that they were now Olympians and I will never forget my own feelings. It gave me chills watching them achieve their dreams. It may be cliche, but in that moment, I felt that anything was possible. Those people had once been exactly where I am right now, watching others win. But they had a dream, and they gave everything they had to achieve it. We all have dreams, but we don't always believe them to be possible. Personal insecurity and fear of failure stops us from putting in our best efforts. We think that the people on television or other public figures are different than we are. This experience showed me that we are all the same. I saw the competitors struggling with the same anxiety I had and pushing through as they walked to the blocks to compete. At some point, they too were a pudgy nine-year-old learning some techniques at a local pool. <laughs> now I saw them realizing their new identity as the reward for their huge efforts. I realized from this that our dreams are possible with hard work, consistency, and people supporting us. The experience of Olympic trials has reshaped my training and my academics. The fear is not completely gone, but I have less anxiety about failure. I am pushing harder than ever before, and I carry this lesson with me every single day, whether it be when going to practice, getting ready for a meet, or even studying for a test. Due to the support of my teammates and family, as well as my coaches from both my club team and the Granada team, I have been blessed with the opportunity to swim and study at UC Berkeley this next year. I look forward to my successes in the next chapter of my life as I continue chasing my dreams in and out of the pool. Thank you.